you know, the same society that uh, hypocritically imprisoned the old street preacher from Ephesus three centuries earlier uh, now glorifies the hell out of them. Check this out. Uh, the rebel scum is historically recast as the martyred divine prophet. <laughs> you know what? The same, the same uh, phenomenon is going to happen to us hippies in history as that divine prophet. Yeah. Uh, currently, the nations are waging a war on the culture of the hippies. War on drugs. Oh, yeah, non-addictive, theogenic, uh, psychoactive, plant worshippers, herb tenders. <laughs> yeah, better put them in jail before they excite more bees buzzing in the meadows. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. Uh, great drug war. <laughs> Yet, just as Rome molted off like a snake skin. They got rid of that anachronistic emperor worship uh, tripped and f finally uh, embraced the higher kind of love. Yeah. As exemplified in the life of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Imperial America and its henchmen uh, nations will eventually in about 50 years maybe, outgrow its old-fashioned sadistic, alcoholic, <laughs> war addiction, uh, money worship, shelter worship. You ain't got the box. You got to put up a tan on the sidewalk in the slums of the cities. Uh, yeah, the imprisoned marijuana growers, you know, they bust half a million a year <clears throat> around here, yeah. Uh, and distributors of soft, non-addictive uh, drugs, psychedelic pioneers, you know. We were once rebel scum. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll be reinvented as uh, revolutionary, visionary. Innovators. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, John of Potmos, son of Zebedee, seer of revelations. Okay. My prayer to you, I pray in your cave that mankind can come oh, as a light. Thank you, John. Can come. Wow. Um, phew. Where did that come from? Uh, come, uh, what, what was I talking about? Uh, come to recognize and cherish uh, uh, humankind's revolutionary guides and avatars. Well, what? They still have flesh on their bones. <laughs> okay. Uh, without punishing them, for nothing first, uh, without making them do gang press labor in forgotten prisons. <sighs> what a rat thing to do. What's that got to say? What is uh, Cleo's spirit uh, going through right now? Uh, Cleo closes her eyes. She gets out down on her knees before the altar. Remember, there's just the two of them down here. Uh, she sits back uh, and then gets on her knees a little bit. Closes her eyes uh, as a deep river of spirit flows through here. Mm -hmm. She prays. Oh, John, help me to get safely through Turkey. Uh, Iran? in Afghanistan and back overland two roads to my house 
and uh, I'm not. I'm used to countries like Australia, England, Spain, Greece, uh, but those strange unknown lands, Muslim lands. Oh, please help my father not die from throat cancer. <laughs> yeah, I've been away from Australia for 10 years. I'm getting a bit homesick. I yearn to make love with my Shiva in nature. Mm -hmm. What a boyfriend. Thanks for sending Shiva to me. Yeah. He helps me see the spiritual things. Makes me laugh and uh, oh, makes my body feel so wonderful. As I do unto him. Mm. When we make love. Oh, Lord. Protect my dog, Retsina. Back in Lindos, make sure Snake feeds her. Oh. Oh. Until I can get back on it. I feel so calm in your cave. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? This trip to Afghanistan, it's not such a big deal. No reason to spoke myself out so much. I mean, uh, like she was said, we land in Turkey. It's just a two-week hitchhiking over to Afghanistan. Oh, yeah. It, it's time I start worrying Stopped worrying about future maybe whatevers and start to enjoy my life and be here now. I am a fun play power hippie. Got a girl traveling partner. Headed for the land of ashes. Adventure. I pray this hitchhiking trap uh, will heal the chakra of my courage. Uh, yeah, I mean, expand my vision of the whole planet. Yeah, uh, for sure. What's happened to me is a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. John, yeah, um. Uh, I got to give myself more self-worth. I mean, I did split snake in the middle of the night. <laughs> and, uh, John, what? I'm sorry the Romans boiled you in oil and tried to shut down your vision trap. Had you quarrying rocks in the prison for the rest of your life. But you showed them, didn't you? Uh, you sneaked off from work, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and your uh, main man, Prochorus? Mm -hmm. uh, you guys, you know, you pulled it off, didn't you? Because uh, you created the most famous prison book in uh, Western civilization and started a whole new genre? called apocalyptic horror yeah never been able to get rid of that apocalyptic horror how do people get off on that stuff i wonder uh, yeah you sneaked off and freaked yourself out so bad <laughs> in this cave right here uh, that you um created uh, the most famous prison book in Western civilization, uh, the book of Revelation. <laughs> Weird. Science fictional passages have baffled <laughs> the mind of mankind ever since, hasn't it? Yeah. 
And what did mankind do? They tacked it onto the end of uh, uh, the Bible. And three centuries later, Roman centurion prison guards themselves, uh, uh, as children, were forced to read your horrible words in Sunday schools uh, throughout the Roman Empire. Instead of going out and playing in the sunshine. Well, <laughs> there's no escaping your freaky trap. Your apocalyptic vision has terrorized mankind. Woohoo! For the last 2,000 years. <laughs> Now that's what I call payback.